Greetings, I'm Tim of Goffberg, and welcome to the world of Tag Heuer. Today we're discussing the Tag Heuer Monza Caliber 17 Titanium Chronograph, a tribute to 40 years of the Tag Heuer Monza model line. Now the watch features a 42mm titanium carbide coated grade 5 titanium case. You can see it and the entire Tag Heuer model line on our website Goffberg Watches. So let's work from the outside in as we discuss this watch and its feature set. We start with a Heuer vintage branded deployant clasp, so it's twin trigger release, it's titanium carbide coated titanium with a deployant action and a unique strap minder system such that any excess length is actually taken up and tucked neatly underneath the clasp, removing the need for the minder loops that can be a little bit messy and unsightly on most watches. Now the strap is unique in that it features modern luxury calfskin but with the imagery of a 1970s race car steering wheel. Now that's what the perforation and the grain of this material is designed to evoke and it does so quite beautifully. Again, vintage look but with modern quality and material specification. The case itself is a distinct upgrade over the PVD brass original. In the modern era, this is grade 5 titanium, the very hardest, with a very hard titanium carbide coating. Now it does have differential finish brushed on the top of the bezel, it's polished on the flanks of the bezel, and satin finished on the flanks of the case. On the case back, the watch features again that vintage Hoyer logo with the Monza model name and a vertically striated satin finish. This is a special edition watch for 2016. Again, we're celebrating 40 years of the Monza model line. And what better way to celebrate than a purist's rendition of the original? And that starts with the dial itself. At 12 o'clock, just like the case back in the clasp, this watch is signed Hoyer in throwback fashion. You dive down from the bezel, which features a tachymetric and pulsometric scale to a sunburst black dial base that recalls the original. Now it is a twin register chronograph thanks to the caliber 17 automatic winding. You see constant seconds at 3 o'clock, the minutes counter at 9 o'clock, and chronograph seconds at center. You can see the original signal red is present and correct, but Tag Heuer makes a step to appease those who are true dyed in the wool traditionalists with a printed tritium style patina dial. Now the indices recall those Monza watches that have survived from 1976 which have taken an even and beautiful acru or off-white tritium patina about their dials. This look captures that essential aesthetic, albeit with the functionality of modern Superluminova. So unlike those tritium classics, this one hasn't faded to the point where it will not glow. Now the watch features a convenient date indicator at 10 o'clock and you can see the crown and pushers for the caliber 17 automatic chronograph on the flank. Beneath the case back is the caliber 17 movement. Now it's a Swiss automatic winding caliber with approximately a 42 hour power reserve, a 4 hertz or 28,000 vibration per hour modern beat rate, and two notable refinements, namely hacking seconds, such that when you pull the crown you do stop the balance, allowing precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time, and there's a quick set to rapidly correct the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Unlike the original Monza, which was very much a high and dry motorsports timepiece. This one's a little bit more versatile as it boasts a 100 meter water resistance. You can see this 40th anniversary Tag Heuer Monza Caliber 17 titanium chronograph and the entire Tag Heuer model line on our website, Govberg Watches.